Lincoln's population keeps growing, our main water source, which is right now the Platte River, is not going to cut it. The city of Lincoln held an open house tonight to educate people and answer questions on a second water source. Channel 8's Jessica Blum joins us now here in the studio with more on what was accomplished tonight. Jessica? Yeah, there's been a concern for a second water source for years, but the search for answers and a plan started more than nine months ago. Mayor Lyrian Gaylor Baird formed a water source advisory council with 27 members, including water and agricultural experts and city and state leaders. City leaders and water experts know Lincoln has a safe and adequate water supply to only last for the next 25 years. The 27 member advisory council is helping come up with solutions and navigate design, construction, financial and legal options. The current water source, the Platte River. The next water source, the Missouri River. Finding a second source, and in this case, distance was our friend. Um, and so the Missouri River allows us to have a redundant treatment plant, a redundant water source, and a, a great direction to get us to Lincoln uh, that didn't utilize the exact same pipeline. The council made its recommendation in mid-January following a report that began in August of 2022. The group spent nearly 40 hours over about nine months evaluating 14 alternatives to determine the most reliable solution for the city of Lincoln. We wanted to make sure that we looked at all possible alternatives. Now, the, the, the seven that we kind of ruled out pretty quickly and easily either had quality issues, maybe too many nitrates, those types of things, or quantity. There just wasn't enough to get us to 2075 and beyond. A second source would ensure that Lincoln has sufficient water for not only the next 25 to 50 years, but beyond that. Similar conversations were being had almost 100 years ago when leaders decided the Platte was the answer. Tuesday night, it was time to bring that final answer, backed by the mayor, to the people. The open house featured several posters with the Lincoln Water System's history and more on where the board plans to go with this next. Some shared concern about the $1.4 billion something like this will cost and the more than 20 years it'll take to complete. But others have realized that this need has been there for a while and are in support. You know, the, the water supply for Lincoln is a big deal. We're a growing city and the Platte well field isn't going to last forever. It's pretty limited into what it can continue to provide. It can't really provide more water and there's all the other uh, demands on its use like the endangered species and stuff. So going over to the Missouri River, which seems to be their first choice, that's probably a pretty good option. Following the open house, Lincoln's Water 2.0 project will look more financially and structurally into the work that now needs to be done. And to pay for the project, officials are hoping for money from city, state, and federal governments. Next steps after tonight's open house include engineers searching for a good spot along the Missouri River to start a well field. All right, Jessica, thank you for the update on that story.